G'day, it's me, New Zealander and also comedian Steve Wrigley, and this is Five Minutes Tonight, the show that takes pretty much anything and talks about it for pretty much five minutes. And on this, the very first episode of 5MT, we're going to talk about, well, me, what this is and why we're all here. See, I'm originally from New Zealand, but I now live in the middle of nowhere in the United States of America, and it is starting to drive me insane. Oh my god, you're from New Zealand? I can't believe it. Were you in Lord of the Rings? And that is racist. It's racist for every American to assume that just because somebody was from New Zealand, they must have been in Lord of the Rings. I don't want to brag, but uh, I was. I was in Lord of the Rings. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal, eh? And there's a lot more to me than just being in multi-billion dollar blockbusters for nine seconds at a time. In New Zealand, this face was quite well known for occasionally vomiting stand-up comedy style jokes out on television. I went into a bar, right? There were about six women dancing around their handbag in some kind of medieval fire circle. <laughs> and just a whole lot of dudes standing around the outside watching. <laughs> it was like some kind of creepy nature documentary. <laughs> Like I could hear the voiceover going, Notice how the Kiwi male waits for a female to fall off the back of the pack. <laughs> God, I'm annoying. And yet somehow I made a career out of it. I mean, if there was, say, a late night comedy panel show where a group of comedians all sat around and looked at funny pictures from that week's news and then made funny jokes about them, I was right there being a dick. <laughs> Bring your enthusiastic brother to work day, not cool. <laughs> And when two late night sketch comedy hosts called me up and were like, Hey Steve, we're completely ripping off that Ellen DeGeneres idea where she has like an earpiece and a guy's ear and she's going, I'm telling you to do stupid things in public. And then he like does them and looks really stupid. Well, I was on the other end of the phone going, Yeah guys, I've got a giant empty egg of a head. Let's fill it with nonsense and point some cameras at it and see if magic happens. And suddenly, there I am, squeegeeing some guy's motorcycle helmet with a mop. How's your dork, Wrigley? I know. Why leave a, such a promising career behind to move here and be in the United States of America? I mean, back in New Zealand, I was a fair to midland sized fish in a pretty average pond, but here in America, I'm, I'm a tiny fish in a giant, terrifying pond full of predators. I mean, everything about America is bigger than New Zealand, for goodness sake. They're monuments. They have things like the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, and the George Washington Monument. And the closest we have in New Zealand is like a pretty big soda bottle, a pretty big kiwi fruit, and in the town of Awakuni, a rather large carrot. In America, they have Mount Rushmore, the faces of their political leaders carved into the side of a mountain. And the closest we have in New Zealand is a building shaped like a sheep and a building shaped like a dog pretty close to each other on State Highway 1. When it came time for New Zealanders to choose a bird that best summed us up as a people, we chose this thing, the kiwi. A bird that can't even fly. All its wings really serve as are like two duvets for it to gently cuddle itself to sleep at night. And America chose this, the American bald flippin' eagle, the F-15 fighter jet of the animal kingdom. And we've got that, the kiwi, the bird equivalent of a cry for help. The American bald eagle, proud, majestic, splendid. The New Zealand kiwi, it's a hamster with a beak. I know, it's so dangerous, it's so big, it's so daunting, it's so terrifying. Wrigley, why do it? I'll tell you why, because I met a beautiful American woman, we got married, fell in love, wait, we fell in love, got married, always do it in that order, and then we had a baby. And now I live here, happily, with them, in the middle of nowhere. United States of America. But I still have this awesome barn, I've got a camera, I've got the internet, and I still have a love of finding the ridiculous things in the world and poking fun at them. So that's what I'm going to do. A couple times a week for five minutes at a time, me, New Zealander and also comedian Steve Wrigley, will be poking fun at New Zealand. We'll be poking a lot of fun at the United States of America. And we'll be poking a lot of fun at any funny little thing about the world that decides to rear its funny little head over a funny five minutes that will happen tonight, tomorrow, this evening, this afternoon, in the morning, on the toilet, hiding from your kids, scrolling through Facebook. Wherever it is, you may consume your free online content. This is Steve Wrigley saying, slip us a like. Slop us with a comment and slap us with a share. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.